Hello and welcome to another, tutori another tutorial. Um, today we're going to work with sysinstall. Well, this is with FreeBSD. Uh, one of my videos had a comment asking if I could bring uh, show up a sysinstall uh, after the you do an installation of FreeBSD. Now, uh, so I've already got a system set up. Why you'd want to get in sysinstall? You might have forgot something. You might mostly um, what you would do is you would go in if you forgot like a certain type of package. Sometimes, and I'll show you what pa package I mean. Because yeah, you could just say, well, you just go to user port or package underscore add. But I'm going to show you a little bit there what what I mean on that one. Um, the other thing is to get into the disk labeler if you had a hard drive, things like that is another reason why you might want to go in there. So, it's got a terminal window open up. You need to be root to do this. So go ahead and put your root password and my root password. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> um, so I'm in root and you just type system install. And of course, if you don't know, or how do I know I'm in root is by this pound sign compared to this. May look a little bit different depending on what screen you're using or what shell type you're using. I'm using CSH. So, now like I said, most of the stuff when you're up here, um, you want to go into configure. Uh, you can go into docs and key maps, upgrade, uh, different things like that. But we're going to concentrate here on the um, configuration here. So now, once you're in here, again, this is you've kind of went through all this when you did the install. So, like for example, now when I was talking about installing additional software, what I what I found out when I first installed FreeBSD is the source for everything. And I needed that especially when it came to um, installing my, my NVIDIA drivers. Now, one thing I don't like about this screen is it doesn't show what you already have. Ch um, you already know you have the required, so that's that's a basic given. Uh, you might want to go and throw in some non-commercial games, the man pages. If you didn't install ports, you can install ports. Local will be um, so it downloads um, the port database. And XORG if you want Windows to come in. Now, the other thing you might want to do is, let's say you added another hard drive, you can come in here and do that. Now, of course, I didn't add a hard drive, so I can't exactly show you, and I don't want to start deleting stuff, so, but you can come in here. Uh, when this goes in, you would want to go to none, because, you know, you, unless you were putting another, um, this that you're going to boot off of, which probably not, so let's go to cancel there for me. Uh, you can add users if you just didn't want to go through the add user terminal. The disk labeler is to once you have um, your set, when you like, let's say I installed the second hard drive, okay? Uh, right now, this is my first hard drive, I have two partitions on that drive. Now, if I had another hard drive, I could select that second hard drive, or it would have gave me choice, and I could have come in and, you know, set up what I need to set up on it. Um, if you want to change your time zone, and you don't know how to go through the configurations, that's the way to go. Networking, these are just different things um, you can set up to have startup when it comes to uh, boot up. If you want to go through the command, here's another thing you can do with it. So, that's basically it when it comes to the sysinstaller. Um, if you like my videos or, my, or this video or my other videos, please subscribe. If you would like to see a certain video on FreeBSD, web design, anything like that, you post a comment. Uh, you know, if you have a YouTube account, you can always email me, and I would gladly try to help as best as I can. Okay, thank you.